Look at this. What he's selling here is supposed to be donkey meat. But guess what? It's pork. Chinese counterfeit methods have once again stretched the boundaries of our imagination. Recently, in Jin Shitan, Dalian, Liaoning province, a vendor was discovered by undercover inspectors to be selling pork under the guise of donkey meat. In the video, a donkey lower leg with hair and hooves can be seen, with large chunks of meat attached below. Upon peeling off the meat with a small knife, the inspectors discovered that this so-called donkey meat had actually undergone bone graft surgery. The donkey lower leg was connected to a pig side joint with iron wire, and it could move freely. The skill level of the bone graft was so high that it was difficult for the average person to detect any traces of surgery. From being deceived into buying donkey meat to being duped into buying crabs, China is indeed full of pitfalls. On March 28th, a man from Fuyang, Anhui province, purchased 30 boxes of crabs, only to find after cooking that they were all empty shells. His wife exposed this incident to the media. That crab my husband bought at the service area on the highway, a few people approached him and offered it, saying it was leftover from delivering to other businesses. They said it's usually sold for 200 yuan a box, but they will sell it to you for 70 yuan a box. When we steamed at a home, we found it was all empty inside, not just lacking crab roe, but most of the meat was also missing. A woman spent 9.9 yuan in a live broadcast to snatch six large hairy crabs, only to find out that the smaller ones were basically like box spiders. The seller even kindly provided a pack of feed. Is it meant for them to grow bigger before consumption? In Yantai, Shandong province, a man ordered crab legs for delivery, only to discover they were not crab meat at all. Today, we ordered spicy crab legs, but when they arrived, apart from the crab shell, nothing else resembled crab legs. Look at the meat inside these crab legs. It's full of bubble-like holes. It's like it's made by pouring batter into a mold. In fact, the crab sticks commonly consumed by everyone have no relation to crabs whatsoever. They are primarily made of fish paste and various seasoning flavorings, processed and manufactured. Some vendors even inject yellow paste made from duck egg yolk into crabs to pass them off as crab roe, enhancing their appearance when steamed. It's a common practice for many Chinese people to use various Chinese medicines and supplements to make medicinal wines. However, the prevalence of counterfeit Chinese medicines on the market makes it difficult to guard against. Besides substituting various other substances, some vendors even use plastic to produce fake Chinese medicines and sell them to consumers. After steeping this seahorse wine for two years and sipping on it for over a year, I discovered it's actually made of plastic. Can you believe it? I paid 35 yuan for each bottle, only to find out it's plastic. Not only seahorses are being counterfeited, but snakes used for making medicinal wines are also being counterfeited with plastic. A woman bought four snakes from a pharmacy to make medicinal wine. Look, it's plastic. I thought it had been soaking for over a year so it should have degraded. When I took it out and looked, it was plastic. Nowadays, not only are there pre-made meals, but there are also ready-to-eat hamburgers. Priced at 7.5 yuan each, these instant hamburgers are extremely popular products promoted by internet celebrities. Their appearance may be tempting, but after taking a bite, it becomes evident that the 7.5 yuan is just a tax on your intelligence. Take a look. Inside is a sliced loaf of bread and a black pepper beef patty. When you open the packaging, there's a strong aroma of flavoring. Then add some salad dressing on top, cover it with the bread, and voila, you've assembled an instant burger. This is a typical case of the packaging being for reference only. Let me tell you. For those who bought this, just eat the bread. The patty will make you sick with its overwhelming flavor of additives. Let's take a look at the ingredient list of this so-called black pepper beef burger. The first ingredient is chicken, then water, followed by pork, and only after that, they mention beef. How dare they call this a black pepper beef burger when it's made from several kinds of meat mixed together? Buffet-style barbecue restaurants have become very popular in recent years attracting many young people on tight budgets with their all-you-can-eat offerings. However, the meat in these cheap buffet-style barbecue restaurants is almost entirely man-made synthetic meat. Look at these bacon slices, so watery, definitely synthetic meat pumped with water. Because of the added water-retaining agent, the texture is a bit like a sponge. The boss of this barbecue shop is quite clever. 
He's using fresh food lambs from the vegetable market for all the meat slices in the self-service area. So they all look pretty in pink. But after taking a look, most of it is processed, marinated synthetic meat. But considering the price, 75 yuan per person for unlimited self-service, if it were all real pork, beef, and lamb, the boss would probably have gone bankrupt long ago. They also have sea cucumber here. Don't think this stuff is high-end and classy. The cost price is about the same as a hot dog. Just 2 or 3 yuan. Thanks to technology, even us ordinary folks can eat high-end sea cucumber. I'd recommend eating less of this kind of self-service barbecue. Take a look at this synthetic steak, a common sight in buffet restaurants, offering all-you-can-eat steaks, also a favorite among children. These synthetic steaks I bought online, 16 yuan for a bag of 5 slices. The ingredient list includes beef, duck fat, water, soy protein, and water retaining agents, among other additives. These synthetic ones are usually round, most commonly used in buffet restaurants. When you open it up, it's like a sponge soaked in water. There's way too much moisture. After squeezing out the water, the difference between the beef and soy protein isolate becomes even more obvious. Many of these even claim to be children's steaks, but they're actually cheating kids. Compared to real steaks, these steaks, when fried, have a very tender texture, similar to eating chiba tofu. The grilled lamb skewers that many of us love to eat are not only made of fake lamb meat, but also deep fried. This bag of flavored lamb skewers even has a picture of a sheep on it, but the ingredient list directly says it's made of duck meat and lamb fat. This is usually used by unethical businesses to pass off as lamb skewers. When you take a bite and hit the lamb fat, do you ever doubt if this is a fake lamb skewer? Some takeout barbecue shops claim to be grilled, but they're actually deep fried like this. Otherwise, they can't fulfill all the orders fast enough. How efficient! Just throw them in for a quick fry, and in a few minutes, dozens of orders are ready. Once the skewers are fried, they're set aside. Other ingredients, including mushrooms, lotus root slices, and chives, are also fried like this. Grilling would take several minutes, but deep frying only takes seconds. Then, some unethical merchants, after frying, to make it look like it's grilled, would lightly grill it over fire. This would leave some charred marks, making customers think it's grilled. Then comes the seasoning. Chili powder, cumin powder, plus some 3A flavoring for fragrance. This stuff should only be used in a quantity of 0.1 to 1%. Never add too much. Then add some umami flavor enhancers for freshness. After shaking it evenly, sprinkle it over the skewers that have just been fried. And the skewers are done. I doubt many people can tell that these aren't made of lamb. Many inexpensive barbecue skewer restaurants also use these synthetic fake lamb skewers. At a barbecue restaurant where you can eat 160 skewers for 69 yuan, there are beef, lamb, and even abalone skewers. Each skewer has an abalone on top, which is the same type that sells online for 97 yuan for 260 pieces, costing less than 0.4 yuan each. The pig kidney is also a semi-finished product sold online for 0.25 yuan per skewer. The beef and lamb skewers look alike, but are neither beef nor lamb. They are made of duck meat mixed with flavorings and additives, costing less than 0.1 yuan per skewer. Even the crunchy bone skewers are the same type sold online for less than 0.2 yuan each, including the squid tentacles. All are semi-finished products, marinated and prepared in advance. Only the vegetables are freshly cut, so the cost is approximately 40 yuan, allowing the boss to pocket 29 yuan. On March 12th, a man in Yichang, Hubei province, ordered duck hot pot at a restaurant, only to find that everything was duck necks, apart from two duck feet. The owner claimed it was a mistake and that the staff had accidentally served him the employee meal. Not only are the meat skewers made of fake meat, but the hygiene conditions in some skewer shops are also worrying. On March 30th, after closing hours, several mice were found crawling in and out of dishes at a skewer shop in Wuxi, Jiangsu province, and there were still leftover ingredients in the dishes, which were probably going to be used the next day. The store involved has been closed for rectification, and efforts are underway to trace the source of the mice. Known as the number one brand of snack skewers, Kwa Food fried skewers have become an influential brand in the catering industry, with their business model of small stores, large chains, and full supply. 
It has been selected by Chinese food website Meituan Dianping as one of the top 10 Chinese snack brands. As of December 2021, Kua Food Skewers has signed contracts with more than 2,000 stores worldwide, distributed in over 200 cities and 300 well known commercial complexes nationwide. It has opened stores in overseas cities such as Melbourne, Sydney, New York, and London. However, despite being a reputable company, it has frequently been exposed for hygiene or expired food issues. Similarly, on March 28th, a netizen in Taizhou, Zhejiang Province, filmed a video of a large mouse crawling around inside a Good May milk tea shop. After the video sparked discussion, the staff responded that the mouse was likely from nearby snack stalls. And the milk tea shop has since taken measures to eliminate it. However, netizens suspect the employee's response was an attempt to shift blame. Just a few days earlier, during the March 15th period, a Good May milk tea shop in Hubei was exposed for using expired ingredients. What's even more unacceptable is that on March 19th, a man in Nanjing, Jiangsu province, witnessed a female clerk peeling longan with her mouth at a fruit delivery shop. He recorded the scene with his phone but dared not intervene, fearing retaliation. On March 23rd, a student at a university in Henan found something resembling maggots on the meat while dining in the cafeteria. After the video went viral, the cafeteria stated that they were contacting the student. Perhaps instead of seeing improvements in food hygiene at school cafeterias, the student might face expulsion for publishing the video. In fact, schools have always been a hotspot for food safety issues. A blogger posted a video on March 26, claiming that bread distributed to students at a primary school in Suzhou, Jiangsu Province, was produced on March 27th. The school stated that they had discovered the issue on the same day and had reported it to the relevant department for investigation. Various fresh vegetables sold on the market that appear to be of good quality are mostly soaked in pesticide water. Look at this big bunch of bok choy, neatly wrapped and looking fresh. Why do they have to put it in water? Is it to cool it down and keep it fresh? Or did they add some preservative to the water? This is a chicken feed processing factory where a worker is scooping out chicken feed soaked in formalin. Look at this working environment and the equipment. I've realized all industries are trying to kill me now. It's a miracle I've lived this long. Who would dare to eat this stuff? Recently, a man secretly filmed a video of a vendor processing carrots in a market. Look, isn't this a joke? Isn't this the carrots we eat? Didn't they say we don't like those shiny carrots because they've been processed? Well, this one, they just add some soil to the shiny ones, then spray some water, mix it with a shovel. The carrots now have a layer of soil on them. After processing, they repackage it. And that's what everyone buys as environmentally friendly organic carrots. To prevent sweet potatoes from spoiling, this vendor is spraying them with pesticides like chlorothalonil. Chlorothalonil is a widely used broad spectrum fungicide, commonly used to sterilize grains or fruits. Research has shown that high doses of chlorothalonil can cause infertility. Therefore, it is banned for use on food crops in many countries. And even when used, There are strict maximum residue limits. However, spraying it directly on sweet potatoes that have already been harvested likely leaves little time for metabolism, making it highly probable that these residual levels will exceed the standard when consumers purchase them. Various food safety incidents in China continue to challenge everyone's imagination limits. Food safety is an issue that every government should highly prioritize, but we find that at all levels, the Chinese Communist Party exhibit serious neglect of duty in their daily management and law enforcement processes. Some local governments not only turn a blind eye to, but even support fraudulent activities. Just as we began discussing the counterfeit donkey meat incident, Local governments not only refrain from investigating, but also indirectly protect such behavior. In fact, due to various interests and relationships, this phenomenon of cover ups at a local government level is a problem that exists in many places. This is probably why food safety issues persist in China despite public outcries.